started for the The name of my business is Tilted Beauty. Tilted Beauty started because, well, Tilted Beauty actually started as a, as a cosmetology business, because I'm a cosmetologist by profession. But moving here, um, I couldn't find uh, the professional products that I accustomed to use. So a friend of mine said, why don't you start selling this jewelry? And I said, well, you're doing well in, in that business. I don't know if it's for me. And she said, man, go ahead. So I talked it over with my husband and he said, well, try it. I tried it, and this is the ninth year, and it will be better than this. I started selling this jewelry because I find when, whenever you go, you want to look nice. You want something that can last. Because sometimes you know you forget you, you bathe with your, your, your chain or you, you get your earring sprayed with perfume or whatever. And you just waste your money when it change. So I started selling those jewelry because it, it is, uh, what do I say, budget friendly to a lot of persons. And the thing is, I like to go and buy my jewelry because I want, when you buy my jewelry, somebody goes, I was asking, where you get that? It's not like, you know, um, you see seeing everybody you want it. You must have that uniqueness. So anybody see you with, 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 a, with a tech beard that looks different, oh, I know where you get that, you know? So... Um, I am not where I want to be. I want a mall. Yes, <laughs> there you go. That's it. Big vision thinking. Come on. Yes, I, I, I really desire a mall. Um, and just to meet people's needs because I get, I get into, with the jewelry too, I get into customization because general thing in it, it don't work for everybody so you can actually give me a design that you want and I get to do for you uh, that's about it <laughs> yeah. that's about it one one pillar I should I should not want uh, <laughs> yes my husband is my my strongest pillar Oh. Um, sometimes I, I want to give up, eh? Sometimes mm -hmm. I really want to give up. Like at times I don't feel like doing it, but it's he's a, he's an encouragement. Um, the um, next one is my customers. Person will come and say, like before I never sell ladies' watch, and there's one customer that she always said, you know, you must bring ladies' watch. I bring this kind of watch and this kind of watch. So whenever she comes to me because I took that, that advice and used it. Every time she comes to me, she's, she can get a discount. She always gets a discount. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever she purchases. And she always sends customers. So that's, that particular customer I always remember. Um, customer service is a big thing to me. Yeah. A really, really big thing. A uh, person would come, they would come and buy and then stay there for half an hour over chatting. <laughs> Um, and that's the best part for me, serving, serving people. Um, one story, just a few, a few months ago, I got a customer that is buying from me, and she, she went to the hospital. And every time I think, but I have to call she, you know, but then I never get around to doing it. And when she got out to the hospital, she saw me, she said, well, what happened? I was looking for people to call me because of the fact that she gets so close to me. You know, any troubles at home, any troubles on the job, you know, she would come and we would talk. Sometimes she don't buy, but we talk. And she feel that comfort. So most customers would come to me because they feel that comfort and that firmness. My first thought is always the individual and their feelings. And from there, we could move on to spending the money. I know that when, when you feel comfortable, you don't want to bring your paycheck and give me some. That's why y'all learning, y'all learning, right? <laughs> so, um, but I really enjoy doing it. Um, 
and I'm I'm looking forward to starting my own um, line of June. Yes, yeah. great, um, great. Woo! Big picture thinking. That's it right there. <laughs> uh, my name is Ken Logan. I'm the owner of Kenage Farmers Produce. Anything farmers production produce I have. Coconut oil, honey, essence, and the list goes on. Hot sauce. Um, I also do oil, infused oil. For here, here on skin. I do a bit of everything. <laughs> I make craft as well. I, do, I love doing craft. And my wife is also a lover of craft. So she does argue with me sometimes. When she learns all this stuff I can make, she does argue with me. But, but, but making craft to me is it's time consuming. Mm -hmm. And not only time consuming, when you sit on a product for hours and you price it, people say, oh, that's expensive, oh, this, oh, you know, this, sell me for that, and that, sell me for that. And I hate when I don't sit down for hours and make something. Someone can come and say, oh, that's creative, I can do that, I sign it on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, oh, that's creative, oh, nice. <laughs> and saying you could do it is one thing, but Trust me, sitting down and doing it. It's true, right. that is true. With the kind of stuff that I can make, yeah. there's no market for it here. Yeah. It doesn't make sense making it. It will just be sitting down. I mean, everything has an owner. Everything has its owner. Yes. But it's yes. to sit hours and make it and wait for a year to sell it. You know what I mean? That's where the owner I make small stuff, small, quick and grab. You know, quick and grab, um, small little gifts. Those kind of thing. Make those, sell a lot of those, the business runs faster. Mm -hmm. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over faster. Yes. Uh, my strengths, I like selling, love selling. Sure. I can sell salt to a slug. Natural, yes. <laughs> I can sell salt to a slug. Mm. A salt, salt will kill a slug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can sell it salt. I can sell oh, it to an Eskimo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just like selling, that's just my thing. If you don't know you need it, I can help convince you that you don't. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, yes, very much. Keep on trying your pocket. My pillars, and my pillars, I would say, are mostly my customers. I like to see happy customers. I like happy customers. A happy customer is a happy hundred more customers. Um, what else? I don't have much struggles. Um, struggles, yes, because um, a lot of people doing the same business. Mm -hmm. When it's slow here, I'm somewhere else doing it. And I have, I have more fun there than here. Business is slow here, I pack up my stuff, I jump somewhere else and make the money that I should be making here, there. Double it, if not cheap sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think our people here understand the health benefits of local food. Exactly. Yes, sure. And people here don't cherish their food. Mm -hmm. That's why I used to sell in Nevis. Nevis people love mm. their food. They and love coffee. They, they love yeah. that's their culture. Yeah. We here is KFC and pizza and this. Anything that's what people do. people now trying to start eating, <laughs> but then they'll start like, oh you know, sweet pepper is good for you and they'll start eating it and they'll stop tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They'll start off big, full speed. Yeah, they just stop. That's about it. My strength is me. Yeah. Getting up and going. That's my strength. Um, sometimes people ask me what motivates you. I motivate me. Most of the time when I'm making a plan to do something, I'm moving on. I'm doing it while I'm telling you. Yes. Oh, I've been thinking about doing this. Yes. I think on the move. That's it. Come on, let's just clap.